Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, American. It's Friday. Welcome. Thanks for being with us. 888-900-3393. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Before we dive in, you know, yesterday I uh, I talked about the movie because they're they're actually a sponsor of the show now, uh, and I hadn't hadn't seen the movie yet. Uh, unfortunately, hadn't had a chance to get out and see it. But yesterday, uh, Jackie and I went to Cabrini, the movie. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in theaters right now. We talked about that movie all the way home, and then oh, wow. for a long time after getting home. One of those movies. Yeah, it's one of those movies that just really stay with you. It's from Angel Studios. They huh. did. Uh, yeah. They're the ones who brought us the Sound of Freedom. Yeah. They do the Chosen, uh, and this is really quality, really excellent. It's a story uh, about immigrants. It didn't but, quite beat Kung Fu Panda <clears throat> for this weekend. It didn't. No, it did not. No. Well, this weekend the numbers aren't out yet, so maybe it will. Maybe it will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you're saying last weekend last it, did, it did, not not. Kung, it did not beat Kung Panda Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Panda four. four yeah. oh, that's, that's too shocking. bad. <laughs> uh, what I one of the things that we discussed, you know, the way immigrants are treated, and you have to keep in mind that the immigrants in this movie are legal immigrants. They came through Ellis right. Island, right? You know, they were logged, they were registered. We knew who they were. We knew what they were doing here. If they if they were sick, we put them in another exactly. Island. Huh. Yes, and tried to help them not infect the rest yes. of the nation. So there are some differences here, but these are the immigrants who really did contribute to building this right. nation. Uh, they learned English. They assimilated. They worked hard. They loved America. Yeah, because this was a new life for them. And they wanted to be Americans. Yeah, American dream. They wanted to leave Europe and all of that nonsense behind, and they were proud to be a part of this. It's a, you know, it's a big difference. Um, the only grandparent that I knew in my life that was still around by the time I was born. My grandmother, my my dad's mom, she spoke Gaelic when she got here from Ireland and then insisted on only right. speaking English that happens once so she much. was here. It, yeah. it happened all the time, almost yeah. in every case. My other grandparents on, on my mother's side were already dead long before I, I was born. My grandfather died in a car accident. My grandma... Uh, I've talked about this before, died from a self-administered abortion from which she got an infection that killed her. Uh, My dad's dad left home when my dad was two. I think I've mentioned this before, too. Uh, Went to work at the copper mine on a day when he wasn't scheduled to be there, but he was filling in for some other employee. I know that's the story the family tells. It is. The real story is he just left. (laughs) <laughs> well, that's what he's, they think. He just because he left have, and he never have a nice day. He never came back home. Um, he it just happened to be the day of the one of the largest mining disasters in American history. Perfect day to leave. Perfect day. Yeah, <laughs> they'll just think I this died in the Jeff mining accident. Leave. We're getting into Jeffy's mind. Is what's Perhaps happening he here. caused the mining accident <laughs> oh, to oh, cover oh, his I, tracks. I, 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 is that possible? Oh, you got a mass murder in your family, bro. <laughs> But 163 men died. Yeah, very 163. sad. 163. Yeah. I thought it was the largest mining disaster, but no. Uh, the largest killed 362 Ooh. people. Can you? I, that's incredible. Oh. Was that in? That was, was in Butte, Montana. Yeah. Uh, no, the, that, this, that was the biggest, dad, the, right? The largest one was that. In but that was, in, was in West Virginia. I think it was West Virginia. Yeah. 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 So anyway, yeah. many years later, his widow, my grandmother, bless her heart. Um, after fighting tooth and nail her whole life to scratch out and grind out a living for herself and her three kids, um, for my dad and his brother and his sister, she had developed what they called at the time hardening of the arteries. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it it was some some form of dementia. Um, So the memories I have of my grandmother um, are that she didn't know me a lot of the time, if she ever did. Um, Yeah. So it was kind of sad, and she she I, I was a little bit afraid of her actually because you never knew what you were going to get, right? Yeah, you didn't. And and the biggest memory in my mind is when she would call out for my aunt, you know, her daughter, and she still had that Irish brogue. And <laughs> my aunt's name was Clar- Cl- Clarice, and it was Clarice, <laughs> Clarice. <laughs> 
I remember that so strongly. So she always knew Cletus, but she didn't necessarily know me. But um, the point is, these were all legal immigrants who had really hard lives, really tough right. lives. Most of us can't even imagine at this. Oh point. my gosh! Just just getting here, yeah, was besides what happened once they were here, yeah. How would you like to come over on a boat and it took you four weeks or six weeks to get here? You're sick. You're you're crammed in in the right. lower decks with a hundred other people. Nastiness. Mm-hmm. Ugh, the toiletry issue. Nastiness. I don't even want to think about. <laughs> Can you keep your food I, no. down on the trip? Uh, I mean, food? that's just what getting food? here. Yeah, right. A lot of times, right. But they blazed that trail for us. They assimilated, despite being called Dagos uh, if they were Italian or Mix if they were Irish. And despite being viciously discriminated against every step of the way, but they loved this country anyway. They followed the rules. They obeyed the laws. They worked themselves to death trying to make a life for themselves here and make things better for their families. Despite being spit on and beaten, harassed, called the vile names, told to go back to where they, where they came from, denied jobs, and, and openly just despised because they were, they were different. But now... For those who come here illegally, disrespecting us from the beginning and our laws, uh, disrespecting our language and our culture and having no consideration about learning any of it or assimilating into any of it. Now, uh, I mean, they even wave their old country's flags in our faces. Mm -hmm. But we're the bad guys. Yes. Now, we're the bad guys. But... um, but go see Cabrini because it's going to make you. Uh, it's just a. It's at the end. It's very inspirational. It really is. It's an oh, overall no. really good feeling. You see that they went through a lot. Oh no! But it's inspirational. Anytime I hear inspirational, that means that I'm going to be made to feel like I've done nothing with my life. <laughs> well, yes, that is <laughs> which true. Means Wait, it you? will which make me, you feel that way. I feel that way anyway. <laughs> yes. And then I'm going to see this film, and I'm going to. You just don't want to be reminded. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm a total right. loser. I've done nothing right. with my life. I've all got right. all these advantages, and right. here I am. I got a free refill with this popcorn before I leave. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody give me a steak, okay? <laughs> somebody. Uh, but I loved it. it. It's ultimately really uplifting and an incredible story. Uh, and it's about this nun named uh, Francesca Cabrini that I don't think a lot of people know about. Oh. Uh, but what she did was incredible. Or, I, you know, oh, of, course I mean, you, I, of course you know I, about it. That hurts her. bad. If, that hurts. <laughs> Because you're so oh, knowledgeable. Uh, uh, well, tell us a little bit about the, her. There, you're Jeffy. the exception. Go ahead. Yeah, share some of uh, some of what you know about uh, Francesca. Well, there, there was one time. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. the, I think the first time that I ran for pope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that uh, <laughs> the nun Cabrini. She and had I your back. Became yeah. acquainted. Oh, okay. Yeah. She was right. really pushing yeah. that nomination, huh? Well, wow. Well, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the first time you that ran. That was the first so time that was we, a, we crossed paths. Really paths. long time yeah. ago. Yeah. Like 120 years ago or something. <laughs> like I said, that's the, the thing first about time Jeffy. I ran for mm-hmm. Pope. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's the thing. When you mm-hmm. talk about Jeffy not doing anything with his life, he's had 400 years. Right. Right. To do so. And still, look at him. <laughs> look at him. I mean, I've attempted <laughs> to do stuff. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. The other thing I wanted to mention um, is... Uh, College basketball this year mm. has been really great for both my team and Keith's team. Yeah. And you've remained somewhat silent about it, I would say. Uh, ah. But Nebraska's actually had one of their best years ever, have they not? I don't watch in a lot basketball. Of basketball. I wait till the tournaments. Yeah. Know, so. Well, and here we are. Here we are tonight at 8 o'clock. Number three seed in the Big Ten, Nebraska. That's great. I, I tweeted Who's out the one seed yesterday. Uh, probably Purdue, right? All right. I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. So I tweeted out something yesterday because I noticed, and this is before BYU played last night. Can you please put mm-hmm. up the, the the tweet there? Look how <clears throat> similar BYU and Nebraska is. You guys are ranked 12th. Mm-hmm. Nebraska is not ranked at all. They're both 22 and nine. The only difference is BYU is six and seven against quad one teams. Nebraska is four and seven, uh, and then they're mm-hmm. they're both four and two against quad two, and then three and four. You're 12 Unbeaten and 0 with, against three yeah, and four. Both teams yeah. are. So yeah. I'm just wondering, why is Nebraska not even ranked? Are we going to be similar seeds in the tournament? Yeah, and, and Big Ten school? That's right. that's weird. You know, because that's a good conference. Kind of is. 
It's not the Big 12, but it's it's a good conference. When it's, I posted that, somebody made, no. made a great point that, you know, <laughs> when you beat Kansas on the road, that goes a long way, which rightfully yeah, so. That's true. I'm not taking anything away from BYU. I just wonder why Nebraska's not even ranked. Yeah, no, they should be. I think they should be. I mean, your long history of... Mm-hmm. of uh, of conference play, yes, in right. The Big Twelve, right? Is yeah. just Thank you. Incredible. Yes, with BYU. <laughs> so I will say they're not disrespected this year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're pretty well appreciated. They're not twelfth in the AP, though. I might point out they're twentieth in AP. Huh? They're twelfth in right. the net. Oh, right. so I yeah. quoted the wrong poll. Yeah. What a dumb tweet that was. Dumbass. What a what stupid a moron. There better be a community dumb. note posted on that tweet. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, what were you guys? Uh, what seed were you in the uh, tournament? In the Big Twelve? Yeah. We were five. Five seed. Mm. Yeah. So, and we'll probably be a five seed in the NCAA right. tournament. Uh, they kind of locked that up with their first round win in the tourney, but then they got bounced out by Texas Tech yesterday. Mm-hmm. Ah! On Wednesday, they shot 47% from three-point range. Yesterday, it was like, I don't know, negative 5%. They, they, they were Ooh. 7 of 35. Not good. No. Yeah, you can't. No, you, no, no. You, they live and die by the three-point shot. So, they died yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but they can rest up for the NCAA tournament. That's what matters right now anyway. So, get no, some rest. Oh, way to yeah. spin it. Thank you. Yes. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they need to rest yeah, for a week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Missouri, by the way, uh, did they ever win a conference game in the SEC? Think, I don't think we won a game. I don't think they did. Oh, gosh. In conference play, I, I mean, don't they think were they were 0-14 yeah, when they were I terrible checked this it year. Out. Not good. <clears throat> and I, and I, I honestly, I don't know why because <clears throat> they have been really good the past in few years. In basketball, have they? And uh, I, don't, I don't know what, what happened. Yeah, weird. It's kind of weird. So where'd they uh, wind up? Do okay. you have it? But no, I just see that oh. uh, they finished eight and twenty-three, uh, and then they, then they lost to Georgia in the first round of the Southeastern Conference tourney. Yeah. Uh huh. You, you, yeah, you, yeah. You played them. You lost by five. No, it's not bad. It's okay. Uh, yeah. you, you don't really pay attention to. Yeah. I don't really. Basketball, I, don't, though, do I mean, football pays the bills, so whatever. Sure. And and that's <laughs> that's uh, that's the truth. <laughs> uh, but what about baseball? Uh, we got that too coming on <laughs> and track. <laughs> and women's soccer. I mean, Nebraska. Hello. I mean, they have the record for the largest crowd, right? No, that's volleyball. Yeah, that's volleyball. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, dude. volleyball. What, what, uh, yeah, volleyball. Ninety-two thousand, I, I think. Yeah, Ninety-two thousand. Volleyball school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're a volleyball school. <laughs> don't don't talk to me about soccer I'm when sorry. we're a volleyball I, I school. Apologize. Thank you. <laughs> Do they play football in Nebraska? <laughs> Do they they used to. They I think they. they Do we stopped. have a team there? But yeah, you got they, your your boy though. He's on fire for them now, right? Who? My boy is on fire. Yeah, the head coach. They got the new coach. He's on fire. They're coming in. They got the number one quarterback in the the program. Of course, our athletic director just hightailed it to Texas A&M for reasons yet to be revealed. Oh, that's weird. Oh, really? We'll see about that. Trev Alberts goes to Texas A&M. Oh, that's because Rule 1 kicked him out. I don't think so. Eh. I don't think so. Eh, I mean, Matt Rule is clearly the leader of the athletic department now. Yeah. But I, I, I think they were on hmm. good terms. I hmm. think it's more to deal with Board of Regents and president leaving, stuff like that. Hopefully it's not some he some NCAA investigation no he knows kidding. about that nobody so else me. does. No kidding. When that sucks. Does. I was just that would so no I kidding. was just driving through the SMU campus last week thinking of the death penalty and, and thinking, boy, that was you don't see that anymore. No, you don't. And, no, but you're no. right though. Like this better not be a precursor to something yeah, bad would, in Nebraska. That yeah, would not be good. Uh, all right. So uh, yesterday, the leader of the U.S. Senate, Chucky Schumer, took to the floor to publicly. This is unbelievable to me. This guy, I can't take Ooh. it. Just because he's Jewish, I guess you you think you have the right to tell Israel who their leader should or shouldn't be. But he called for the ouster of uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, Here's how that went. On the Israeli side, the U.S. government should demand that Israel conduct itself with a future two-state solution in mind. No. No. We should not be forced into a position of unequivocally supporting the actions of an Israeli government that include bigots the idea. Oh we should not be forced into an action. Thank we you. can force them right. into whatever action we please, but don't you dare put us... This is enraging, in, and I'm not even incredible. an Israeli citizen. Right! How this dare guy. you? How dare you? Who do you think you are? All right, let's see the rest of this. Jeez. ...of a Palestinian state. Uh-huh. 
Israel is a democracy. Five months into this conflict, it is clear that Israelis need to take stock of the situation and ask, must we change course? At this critical juncture, I believe a new election is the only way to allow for a healthy and open decision-making process. Why would you leave that to the Israelis? Can you imagine? At a time I can't. So many the Israelis doing this. have can't lost do their confidence. Uh, I can't. No, I can't. I mean, that's unbelievable. And by the way, uh, we need some money for Ukraine. Pause it for just a sec. Uh, we, yeah, right. <laughs> right? I mean, they're looking for $14 billion for Israel, $60 billion more for Ukraine, and uh, and they keep they continue to try to tell everybody else on this planet what they have to that's do with maddening. their nations. I'm just Why would you fed listen up to it. anything that this government has to say anymore? I don't know. Why would you follow this country anywhere anymore? Wouldn't. I, I, I what, wouldn't. What good does it serve your country? And this is enraging, what Chuck Schumer did yesterday. It is. All right. Let's see if we can get through this. Which I've lost their confidence <laughs> in the vision and direction of their government. That's their problem, not yours, I bro. also believe mm-hmm. a majority of the Israeli public will recognize the need for change. And I believe that holding a new election, mm. once the war starts to wind down, would give Israelis an opportunity to express their vision once the war for the post-war future. Down. Of course, the wow. United States cannot dictate the outcome oh, of, thank an ele- you. of an election, nor should we try. <laughs> Nor should you no, be is for the Israeli public to decide. A public that I believe huh. understands better than anybody <clears throat> that Israel cannot hope to succeed as a pariah opposed by the rest of the world. Huh. As well, a democracy, oh. Israel has the right to choose its own leaders. Pause it for and a we sec. should let the chips. Uh, that's contrary to what the, if you're a Bible believing person, it's contrary to what the Bible says because it does state they will stand alone. Against the rest of the that's world. That's all I thought about yesterday they when I saw this speech. Stand alone. That's at, all I could think yeah, about. And right yeah. now, they just about are. I'm sure they standing feel like alone. it. I'm sure they feel like it. Yep. Yep. I used to think all the time, how do we turn against Israel? How is that possible? Well, now you see it. You see it clearly. We could easily. We already have. Oh, yeah. You've already got Biden and Schumer and all of our leadership bashing the leadership of Israel Every day. And I, I wasn't going to, but then uh, the protesters shut down San Francisco Airport the other day, and that, that turned me around. Turned you around? Yeah. Oh, turned me it? around. Okay. I thought, you know what? All right. I'm yeah. on their side huh. now. That's weird. Because I know. It was weird. But. My feeling was that that probably didn't turn people around <laughs> really? so, to their way of thinking, but it did for it you. Did. So it did. Yeah. All right. Listen to this. On Wednesday, <laughs> Schumer told senior White House officials he was going to give a speech about Israel, but he didn't give them a copy of the speech or ask for their permission. The White House didn't encourage Schumer, but also didn't stop him. I don't care. Several White House officials were surprised by how harsh he was. Um, and then mm. I was I was looking up originally here. How did Netanyahu respond? Um, uh, he uh, He's apparently accused many times uh, um, Schumer. Um Let's see. Netanyahu. Okay, so Netanyahu, who over the years has been accused many times of meddling in U.S. politics, hit back hard mm-hmm. against Schumer. He said, "Israel is not a banana republic, but an independent and proud democracy that elected." Uh, oh, that was a Likud party guy, um, just basically saying, "Get out of our business." Yeah, shut up. Mm-hmm. Mind your own business. Maybe you should pay attention to the brain dead buffoon that leads your country. Why don't you pay attention to that? No kidding. Wow, that's. I mean, it's outrageous. And there's more. Mm-hmm. Let the chips fall where they may. But the important thing is that Israelis are given a choice. There needs to be a fresh debate about the future of Israel after October 7th. Mm. In my opinion, that is best accomplished by holding an election. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, now, I really don't if President like Net- uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu's yeah. current coalition remains in power after the war begins to wind down, and continues to pursue dangerous and inflammatory Mm. policies that test existing U.S. standards for assistance, then the United States will have no choice Mm -hmm. but to play a more active role in shaping Israeli policy by using our leverage to change the present course. Okay. Well, the United States bond with Israel is unbreakable, but if extremists (laughs) continue to unduly influence Israeli policy, 
then the administration should use the tools at its disposal mm -hmm. to make sure our support for Israel is aligned with our broader goal of achieving long-term peace and stability in the region. I believe this would make a lasting two-state two -state solution more likely. Nope. No. <sighs> How about no? I mean, they just keep pushing this two-state solution. Which Hamas doesn't want. They don't. They won't stand for. Oh, uh, right. Uh, so uh, you can push that all you want. River to the sea is that right? Two states? N no, that, no, it sure I just, isn't. I, I'm confused uh, on the no. geography there. <laughs> no, in fact, there's not a lot of things that rhyme with two state solution. <laughs> so you know they're not chanting it anywhere. No, they are not. <laughs> Pathetic. I mean, that's unreal. All right, there's more. Uh, we'll get. Uh, Speaker of the House Mike Johnson's response to this coming up in a minute. But first, let me tell you about Undertack. You already know about Sierra Whiskey Company, the folks that bring you Undertack, the revolutionary boxers changing the game. Well, they just unveiled a whole bunch of new products, and they offer socks now, joggers, t shirts, sweatshirts, all of them made in America and embody the same rugged spirit you come to expect. Their socks are made of battle, uh, battle weave wool, which is five times stronger than merino. Their ring spun cotton hoodies and joggers are really, really comfortable. And every Patriot needs the EDC t shirt three pack. Remember, under tack isn't your typical men's boxers, they're made with modal. You think of that like cotton, it's just way better. It's 50% more moisture wicking, it's antibacterial, and it's a lot softer. They stay in place with a sturdy but really comfortable extra-wide waistband. The fly makes a lot of sense. Undertack is durable. It's ultra-lightweight. It's fade-resistant and shrink-resistant. And if all that's not enough, they also do something really fantastic. They donate a portion of their profits to organizations that are actively fighting against human trafficking. So stock up your drawer, drawers uh, with some new drawers today. Undertack.com. That's Undertack.com. You'll get 20% off site-wide when you use my offer code PAT20. So you get exceptional comfort. You get twice the guarantee at a fraction of the price. Makes a lot of sense. Undertack. Under T-A-C. Undertack.com. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. All right, so uh, how was the Republican response to what Chucky Schumer just babbled uh, to Israel? Here's Mike Johnson responding. As we were in a work session here within the last uh, half hour, uh, there was a buzz uh, among the audience uh, as people were seeing notices come across their phone as something that was rather shocking to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw the remarks from Senator Chuck Schumer calling for new elections in Israel. Mm -hmm. And we want to speak very uh, clearly and concisely to say that this is not only highly inappropriate, it's just plain wrong. Thank you. For an American leader to play such a divisive role in Israeli politics while our closest ally in the region mm -hmm. is in an existential battle for its very survival. Right. We need to be standing right. with Israel, and we need to give our friends and allies our full support. We, we have to stand with and support them right now, but what you're seeing from the White House, and clearly from the Senate Democrats, is really exactly the opposite. They seem to be standing with and supporting Iran and its proxies instead. Hmm. This is an extension of the Democrats' foreign policy that has projected weakness on the world stage and undermined our allies around the world. The most important election, in our view, is not what may happen in Israel, but the one that is needed right here in the United States. It will happen in November. That's for sure. And it cannot no get here kidding. soon enough. That's, Boy, that's for exactly sure. right. <laughs> Nicely and put. It cannot get here <clears throat> soon enough. Sheesh, man. So I'm glad they responded to that because it's even, outrageous. I think even the turtle responded uh, negatively against Chuck Schumer. Oh, did he really? Too. I think so, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, well. What did he say? Did he I, I don't remember. I just I remember seeing uh, something across the line. He said this. <laughs> Nothing, because he froze. Yeah, can we quote you on that, yeah, you Mitch? Can, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, she can't go ahead. I believe that is a quote. <laughs> Hold on, what's that quote again from Mitch? It's, uh, it's just this. And that was it. Wow, uh, so, that's yeah. deep. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, 
wanted to I like repeat that better it, than what Schumer said. Wanted to repeat it a few times so you could get it uh-huh. all down. Yeah, thank you. You know, because uh, a lot of us aren't that quick in dictation. <laughs> sure. So let me give it to you just one oh, more right, time. Okay. Here's, here's what he said. And there it is again for you. <laughs> so. Well, I'm glad he responded. Yeah, me too. Oh, well, he felt me he too. had to. <clears throat> and since it was another day, mm-hmm. it was another pro Hamas protester day. Uh, they showed up at the New York Times wearing their masks. Well, you know what? <laughs> what? Couldn't have to do a nice Yeah. Oh, something about genocide. New York Times, you can't hide something, oh, something. Stop genocide. the genocide. So I looked up why, um, <laughs> why, why are they protesting New York Times coverage of the Israeli war? You ready mm. for this? I yeah. Found, I found the two yeah. big complaints. Okay. It's because of the way the New York Times reported on the sexual uh, violence during the October 7th attack. Oh, my god! Which, if you'll recall, the United Nations has overwhelmingly confirmed, confirmed the yeah. atrocities and a sexual nature that happened against Israelis at the hands. They just they don't care. No, no. They, no, don't, they don't care. And then the other thing is how they reported the um, the attack on that checkpoint. Remember how they said, mm. hey, they were just 700 people standing in line for food, and then Israel rolls up and starts oh. shooting at them. Yeah. No, it was a stampede. So New York Times reporting on facts, apparently, is what set off the pro-Hamas supporters. My gosh. Incredible. <laughs> Tell you, man. It's incredible. I hope the but left enjoys but, this. But they don't care. It they, doesn't matter no. to them. The Palestinian protesters it. don't make sense to begin with. So any logic, Correct. any reason, any facts that disagree with their point of view are just disregarded. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care. It doesn't it makes no they difference hate, whatsoever. They hate Israel and Jews so much that they, nothing matters. What? Nothing matters except the criticism of uh, Israel. Because they don't want it to exist. That's the goal. Let's not lose sight of that. That the goal here is to wipe Israel from every map and... Uh, gone, and every Jew gone. And right. yes. And that's what they want. That's what they want. And we shouldn't pretend otherwise. <laughs> wow. Ho- holy smokes. Uh, Pat had <clears throat> just posted this. I'm sorry, but did I miss uh, Chucky Schumer lecturing Palestinians on government elections, democracy, <laughs> releasing American hostages? Jeez. No kidding. Right. And again, it raises the specter of what is the parliament parliamentary system for right. elections? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the... That, does, that has been an issue. <laughs> it has. Israel has literally had five, right? Five a elections lot. in about, what, three years? A, a lot. I mean, that's for sure. It seemed like there for a while. It was every, every time week. we turned around. Yeah. So They're doing another election. The next Israeli election is expected by. I mm-hmm. love this. See, this is why I love America. Yeah, is that At least you can just time. Google and go. Oh, it's the first Tuesday uh, <laughs> after the first Monday of November of uh, every yes. four years. Um, but uh, Israel is <clears throat> expected by October of 2026. So we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll but get that, it. That, but it doesn't have to happen by then, right? Yeah, they yeah, can, they can make saying. that earlier. Yeah. That is, that's what I'm saying. You it can be know. earlier, it can be later, but it's yeah. expected by then. <laughs> How do you govern and... I don't know. I don't know. Although some people will bring up, well, wouldn't it be great if we could do an election to get rid of Joe Biden yes, sooner? Yes, yes, And the answer to that yes, is yes. yes. But Let's change our system. It works both ways. I'm Let's sure not forget does. that. So. It sure does. Uh, that's... <laughs> It is really something. An election is expected by October of twenty six. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> I just I I don't know. And then and mean. then it's not even really necessarily about an individual to be prime minister. Right, it's, about, it's about their party, uh, right. right? You elect a certain amount of members of parliament, then, then you they can choose then the they choose out the, of their oh. out of their out of their group it's who's crazy. in charge. Yeah. Makes total sense. <laughs> Or not. You know, one of the two. Or not. We tried to show everybody the way. But yeah, how's that going for America? Not well. It's it's not going well. <laughs> well, I mean we have we have another election that's beginning today as well of Vladimir Putin. Uh, oh, yes. he the, he's for, expected to squeak by uh as the leader of Are Russia. you sure? Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean no I'm not sure, but Okay. I, What's they're, so they're thinking uh, he might get ninety, ninety five percent, which would just barely <laughs> 
disqualify his him to continue. His opponent refuses to say anything bad about Putin. <laughs> I think because he likes his life more than yeah. his office. Yeah. Russia, Russia, Russia. Pat Gray Unleashed. Tweets here. Patriot Beagles 2 tweets the Democrats have to appease their base. Votes, you know. Everything is about power, even if it means the destruction of Israel. Mm -hmm. Uh, Stand up, Chuck. (laughs) That reminded me of something I meant to talk about the other day, Mm. because somebody... Who was it? Oh, Madonna. Yes, it was Madonna. Jeffy brought it to us uh, when you were here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we played the All video. Right, so we oh, that's did. right. Yeah, we did talk about it on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was I rough. missed about 20 minutes of my own show the yeah. other day because it was a little sick. And that was part of, the, that was part of the, one of the, the fat five. And uh, yes. Madonna told somebody to stand up. What are you no, doing she, there or whatever, well, right? She asked, why are you sitting down? Uh, cause and then the, she, then she the grabbed the microphone. The person's in a wheelchair. Yeah, then she grabbed the microphone <laughs> and walked over to the edge of the stage like, why are you sitting down? going to confront one of her, one of her fans. And then, uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, God love you. Gosh darn it. Is it politically incorrect? Sorry, thanks for yeah, coming. That's what she said. Uh, yeah. Chuck Graham, state senator's here. <laughs> Chuck, stand up, Chuck. Let him see you. So, oh, oh, God oh, love you. God what love am you. I talking uh, about? What am I? You're a cripple. I didn't, uh, oh, what am, what I, am talking I talking about? talking about? <laughs> Same thing happened to Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Anyway, stand up. Oh, oh here it is. Over there. All right. I, what are you doing sitting down? Why are you sitting down? Are, what are you, my, what's going on? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. Politically incorrect. Sorry about that. I'm glad you're here. I'm Jeez. glad you're here. Thanks for paying a thousand bucks. I mean, you know what? That's if you pay for a incredible. ticket, especially yeah, you should that be able close, to do what you want. Back off! Yeah. I paid Get you. Off do me. your stupid show, right? <laughs> Washed up hag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought that was appropriate. What? You didn't. Uh, you didn't appreciate that. What, Jeffy? Huh. I thought washed up what? hag was a what? very. What did I say? Very good descriptor. <laughs> was incorrect. Is not a washed up hag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, from stand up Chuck, uh, I believe Chucky should set an example and resign from the Senate since he is a thousand times more useless than any Israeli leader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's being kind. He's way more than a thousand times more useless. <laughs> uh, Kendall Eldred. Does Schumer want Israel to use USA voting machines for their election that he's calling for? Yeah, probably. probably. That'd be helpful for him. Gender McGenderface. Imagine how crazy the Democrats would be if Benjamin Netanyahu were to suspend elections in Israel, even though Vladimir Zelensky Mm -hmm. did the same Mm -hmm. thing in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. The left's hypocrisy knows no bounds. There's no doubt about that. Man, that's for sure. From Bunter Hyden, crack connoisseur. The Democrat Party loves to bend over to terrorists and prop them up at all costs. They're terrorist sympathizers. Indeed they are. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, since Jeffy's here, let's go ahead and get the uh, Fat Five All right. From Excellent. You. Let's see let's what you got going on today. I've, I've been pretty busy the last couple of days uh, putting up my uh, 15 days to flatten the curve <laughs> anniversary tree. Oh, yep. wow. Uh, with decorations. Uh, yeah. It's the fourth anniversary. So, uh, uh, you got syringes and... And, oh, yeah, we've got masks hanging masks. up outside, all lit Good. up and everything. Yes, yeah, nice okay. multicolored little hanging. Nice. Over. Do you yes, have safe really and effective sense. vaccines? <laughs> we've got it all. Yeah, all either. Right? We're celebrating. You got, lo- <laughs> okay. lo- you got, wow. you got lockdowns? Yeah. Yes. So it's the four-year anniversary of that? Yeah. Wow. God, that's amazing. Almost like it? it didn't happen. It's been four years. It's almost like it didn't happen. Wow. I represent science. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Wow. I know. So much. Mm-hmm. I mean... With goes without saying, but so much has changed. Yes, uh, mm-hmm. since just 15 days to flatten the curve. Indeed, wow. Which is why we celebrate having anniversary decorations up. Uh, you know, you talk about uh, college basketball. Uh, I see where uh, Iowa's went over Nebraska in the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament Championship last weekend. Mm-hmm. Overtime, right? Uh, by the time, it, yes, it went into overtime. And by the time it was over, uh, it helped CBS set an all-time record uh, versus uh, for the game, the most watched women's college basketball conference game of all time. 
mm. for CBS. Yeah, the Ka- Caitlin Clark thing has created real interest. It's in good. That. Oh man, that uh, Caitlin Fever is going to mm-hmm. be happening throughout this tournament as they make the title run for yep. sure. Yep. Um, it, it's you know it's fun. It's fun to watch. It is fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, they had four. The total was four over four and a half, four almost four and a half million, which. You know, four and a half million. Yeah, really. Which is okay. Which for is a okay. women's basketball game. That's once they got tremendous. into overtime, it was four and a half. It was huh. just under three. Uh, you know, throughout the game. Yeah. So, which I think there was another women's basketball game back in '99, some championship game that had three and a half million or something. Mm. Um, but by the time it was hit overtime, yeah, I mean, everybody's watching it then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Do fun. you get that notification on your streaming services uh, that says something's uh, happening? Yeah, pops up in the corner there, so you can like, hey, there's a potential upset or a really close game. Mm-hmm. You can click here and, and I have a, go to it. I have a so thing I think that, that I carry helps with me all the time is a phone. It. Yeah, uh, it's oh. a handheld computer. Phone. And uh, it's not on your wall. So, no, it is not. Huh? Uh, it's that's not. weird. And I have it with me, and uh, <laughs> that, plenty of alerts come across that. Okay. Which then makes me huh. aware that I can either watch it on my phone or, or watch it on the screen <laughs> that I'm currently watching in my home. Huh? It's the way it kind Modern of works. Modern technology. I know. I know. Incredible. Uh, you can, which I love during football season, by the way, because yep. it may, then I'm like, oh, I got to go to this game. Yeah. Uh, you can stop your whining too. Okay. I'm sick of hearing you whine about not being able to get Trader Joe's canvas tote bags. <laughs> okay. So, oh, why don't you just Sorry. shut up? Okay. It's just so important We're being to me, told that they're going to be mm-hmm. back in stores this summer. Phew. Okay. That was a close one. I have to wait till summer, though? Well, oh, boy. The two ninety nine Trader Joe's tote bags available in blue, red, green, and yellow, as you can see there in that picture, they claim are going to be back uh, in stock by late summer. And um, people have been clamoring for them, have they? Well, yeah. I mean, look uh, at this video when they brought right. them out, man. These people are lining up. Oh, come crazy on. Over the Trady Joe's bags, man. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, 100%, man. This is crazy. You know, I think I've been into a Trader Joe's once in my life. To pick up your tote bag. I'm looking for your tote bag. <laughs> no, I didn't get the tote bag. <laughs> no. I think they were out of them that particular right. time. Well, you but, can. You know. uh, yeah. <laughs> they still have the sold out status symbols are listed on uh, on the website, and uh, you can still get them on eBay for hundreds of dollars if you really want. Seriously? One. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So, People go nuts over the weirdest things. It sure is, don't they? But uh, huh? All right. <laughs> your trader, quit your whining. Yeah. Trader right. Joe's They're tote bags to they're coming it's back. Stanley Cup. I mean, what is it with this? Obsession? There was not a there, weird. There was not weird. any. There was not a, a mention though when they said they're coming back this summer. There was not a mention if they were going to be the same colors or the same cost. Oh no! So they might. Oh, I hope uh-huh. they might raise the price Don't up a little bit. Don't mess with my tote. <laughs> Don't do it, Trader Joe's. <laughs> we might need to protest. <laughs> We might need to protest. I'm going to close down freeways, Jones. man. If they if they come out in no, different colors, and, I'm and sitting, raise the price. Sitting right in the middle of I-35 South, <laughs> and in fact, I-35 East South. That's okay. That'll North. screw you up. You don't even know. <laughs> That's the strangest thing, by it the is. way. Yeah. Uh, that really is the How strangest it thing here off. in Texas, and you end up on I-35 North South. <laughs> Well, going west, it splits off into uh, a western section, which mm-hmm. goes up through Fort Worth, it's and the, most the eastern thing section, which it, goes it through Dallas. It is. Yeah, but then you also so not only do you have I thirty five W north, north, you got it going north or south, right? It's bizarre. Then you have I thirty five. E, e east north going north <laughs> or south. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome to Dallas. <laughs> no doubt about it. I believe that uh, Japan is uh, going to be attacked by a giant cat the size of godzilla mm. very soon mm. all right a japanese city is on high alert oh yeah it fell into for a potentially toxic, waste. toxic cat that right. fell into the vat mm-hmm. of carcinogenic right. chemicals mm. uh, all right uh-huh. at this manufacturing residents of fukuyama were warned to be on the lookout oh, for no. an abnormal looking cat and instructed do not approach mm-hmm. do not touch it call police okay it and probably crawled uh, off and died somewhere. they believe I mean, no. It's they believe the that the feline fell into a tank of molten chromium. Okay. And the worker arrived at the shift. You saw the pictures of the cat there in the parking lot and the paw prints across the across the walkway. They checked uh, and they said, "Oh man, we believe the uh, the sheet covering 
on a tank of hexavalent chromium, uh, which is orange and brown and highly acidic, was turned over. So the cat climbed into the sheet, plunged into the vat of the chemical, the toxic chemical. It's kept at 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And so they claim that the hexavalent chromium can cause a variety of health defects from skin irritation, rashes, respiratory problems, blindness to cancer, depending on the severity and length of exposure. Oh, that's for humans, though. Yeah. Mm. That's not for cats. It's actually good for cats, I understand. I think that uh, <laughs> they say, you know, they, you know, they think that he just wandered off and died, you know, right? Yeah, But uh, I will say that he's down in the sewers growing. Yeah. Mm, right. yeah. And yeah. Uh, so not too yeah. long, we're going to be hearing well, from Japan saying, oh, my gosh, we're being attacked <laughs> by a giant cat. I mean, chromium cat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joe reminds us that I think that's what happened to uh, the Joker, right? Something like that. He fell into a vat of acid. So maybe yeah, I mean, we've, we've, maybe oh, cats it's, plotting it's a, it's to a take definite, over. The... It's a definite. Uh, it's a villain in, in yes, rain. yeah, villain or superheroes fall into vats. Yeah, that's how waste. that's how it happens. Yeah, right, that's how it happens. So let's be on the lookout. So be we careful. got four options. He's either going to be a superhero. He's either right. going to be a villain. He's okay. either going to be like Godzilla, or he crawled off and died somewhere. <laughs> One of the four. <laughs> the first three are obviously much more likely right, than right. the last one. Thank you. But Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, we can only hope that that thing did not die. Right. I want that thing <laughs> out there, eighteen feet tall, yeah. attacking the city. I <laughs> <laughs> want that bad. Uh, this is the Fat Five, brought to you by Kexi Cookies. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. today, yeah. by the way, Kexi Cookie uh, celebrating St. Patrick's Day, and you can celebrate with. Ordering Kexi cookies. 15% off. 15% what, what? off for all cookies. Do I need an access code like no. chewing the fat? Or? Nope. Mm. You just get 15% off. Cause wow. Because we, we love you. Uh, so that's all weekend. That's uh, 15th through the 17th, which I believe would be Sunday. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And so go to Happy St. Patrick's Day. Kexi.com. The only thing it doesn't include, and these are almost sold out anyway if they're not completely sold out, but the brownies, the Irish cream brownies, it doesn't include brownies. It's a sale on cookies. But 15% off. Kexi.com. K-E-K-S-I.com. We had those brownies last night. <laughs> yeah. friends were over. Oh, did you like them? Too much. I just cut them into pieces. Yeah. And all the pieces were gone. Now you've pissed Jeffy off because I, he can't I, stand I, the cutting it into pieces I, thing. I make it smaller. <laughs> this is so stupid. Not everybody you know can what power you, need to you do? like you do. What you need to do right. is just make the Kexi minis. Yeah, well, we yes, that's in the planning stages, actually. Just yeah. make the Kexi wow. minis so that so wuss is like Chris. Doesn't yeah. Come so if you're wuss. dainty, you can eat the whole yeah. thing. It's not wuss. It's <laughs> just <laughs> no, speak- healthier. <laughs> Speaking of healthy food. It's healthier. Uh, I cut it into eight little small pieces. I ate them all. <laughs> but uh, they were little pieces. I'm healthier. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have some breaking news uh, regarding McDonald's. It's been hit by a system failure that's closed stores and disrupted online and app orders in countries oh, like... U.S., Australia, Japan, Hong Kong, and the U.K. You know what that is? Wow. Chromium cat <laughs> strikes yes. again. again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, I mean, this is primetime breakfast, though, yeah. time yeah, that's, for McDonald's, man. That, so it's worldwide almost? Sounds like it. U.S., yeah. Australia, that's all I'm over sure the place. I'm sure it's just a... I mean, but look, just, Japan's included. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I, there you go. Chromium cat. Right. Chromium cat. The molten... <laughs> Hexavalent monster is there, baby. All right, we're going to get back to finish up the Fat Five in just a sec. But as we sit here today, you know that the lives of babies still in the womb hang in the balance. Um, Let me tell you about the most important and pressing issue we face, and that's the lives of the unborn. They really need our help. They need our protection. The Ministry of Preborn empowers young expectant mothers in crisis to choose life. And you know they've been encouraged by so many people, boyfriends, husbands, <coughs> the parents, friends. Just wipe it from your life, okay? It's, it's, it's just right. clump of cells anyway. Then they go to preborn and find out differently. And how do they do that? With the ultrasound. The ultrasound shows the expectant mother. That's actual human life. That's a baby. Yes inside of you that costs 28 dollars. just 28 dollars could save the life and has saved the lives of hundreds of thousands of babies through preborn's efforts so if you can help please do donate 28 dollars. maybe you could afford 28 dollars a month sponsor uh babies lives for an entire year 
Either way, go to preborn.com slash pad, or you could dial pound 250. Say the keyword baby. That's pound 250, keyword baby, or again, preborn.com slash pad. Pat Gray Unleashed. And to finish up the Fat Five, here's Jeffy. All right, uh, it's a British Airways Concorde uh, supersonic jet has returned to the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum in NYC after undergoing restorations in the uh, Brooklyn Navy Yard. It spent months being restored, and uh, there were people taking pictures and videos of it, uh, shipping down the shipping down the river on the barge, taking a look at it. Uh, it still holds the record for the fastest transatlantic crossing by a passenger aircraft, and it was moved f- from Brooklyn to Weeks Marine in Jersey City uh, where it spent the night but it's been at the uh, it's been at the Marine uh, Brooklyn Navy Yard for uh, for a few months as it was getting a little touch up those it are cool good. looking planes aren't they they are really so cool, cool. cool. Uh, it's got a fresh coat of paint and so it's uh, ready to go back on to the Intrepid <clears throat> um, I look I don't know we should still have them I don't know. I mean, we had one big crash, mm-hmm. right? We had the crash in uh, 2000 mm-hmm. that killed 113 that pretty well people. Ended it. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is this one's been on the Intrepid since '03 when I they think were there retired. Was, wasn't that the only crash of yeah. the Concord too? Yeah, I think it was. So, yeah, amazing. Sorry, one screw up, and that. I mean, yes, it was costly, cost human lives, but, lot, but oh. many plane crashes. Cost human lives. I mean, we've and got you doors blowing them. off of airplanes right. in today's world. Right. right? I mean, and they're still flying. They're still flying. They sure are. Yeah. And so, I mean, was, I understand that was a pretty expensive flight, you know, New York to Paris in what, five minutes or whatever. whatever it, <laughs> it was four and a half. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Four and a half. Okay. It's a Concorde we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But, and it was, I don't know, was yeah, it, it 5,000, 10,000? It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But still, I mean, if you want, if you had to get there, if you absolutely have to get there, I, I don't mm-hmm. know why the. I, well, this is a side note, but I, I don't know why the NFL isn't investing in the supersonic jets because if they're going to start playing uh, in, in Europe, South America and in Europe, mm-hmm. they need to have produce their own NFL planes and just yeah be mm. done with it. Mm. And uh, mm-hmm. that's why I believe I should be uh, NFL commissioner. <laughs> Uh, not Roger Goodell. So, <laughs> but aren't you going to be too busy being uh, Pope Pope Fat uh, Matt with well, Fatimus the First? You're not going to have time to be commissioner. I'll give it a shot. Okay, I'll All give right. it a shot. You think you can do both? I do. Yeah, I do. All yeah, right. I do. Oh, you still have my su- my support for both. I'll throw all my weight behind. It. Wow, thank you. Yeah, considerable. I, does he need? That's considerable. Thank does you. he need additional weight <laughs> behind? Him? Let me eat. Wow, what is that? I don't know what you mean by that. What do you mean? Physics. Pat Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, American. It's Friday. With some tweets for you, a bad engineer tweets, so the Israelis are extremists now? I thought that was us, you know, on the right. <laughs> yeah. The left needs to make up their minds. Yeah, there's plenty of extremists to go around yeah, for them. Yeah, plus we, we, you know? our extremists are with Netanyahu, so it's the same thing. Same deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. DMX, DM, what kind of substances do you need to ingest in order to see Madonna as anything but a washed-up hag? Yeah, Jeffy? <laughs> Do you need me to go down the list of prescriptions? (laughs) We don't have time. It's only a two-hour show, so no. Mandalorian Patriot, uh, so does Japan get a Godzilla-sized cat or cat woman? That'll be interesting to see when uh, Chromium Cat shows up, finally. Yeah. Uh, Trekkie Princess Steve. Will Aaron Brockovich be representing the cat in court? (laughs) Nice. No, it'll be Julia Roberts. She'll be in. Mm. Either way. See, that's who played. Yeah, yeah we like Brock. I mean, it's thinking man's movie. joke. Yeah. But we got, got it. it. Yeah. We, we yeah, got you got it. it. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> it's a great movie. I love that movie. She's really good in that. 
Just good in a lot of stuff. Uh, but uh, you talk about washed up hags. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. She's not. Stop that's, it. No, that's not true. Neither I like is, Julia Roberts. Madonna either. Right? Oh, please. So stop it. She was a washed up hag in 1984. So. <laughs> wow. All right. So yesterday, President Joe Biden bragged about inflation, sort of. Okay. <laughs> Here's what he said. Wages are rising faster than prices, and now we have among the lowest inflation rates of any country in America, and still, we're still fighting to lower oh. even further. See that? <laughs> <laughs> lowest right. inflation rate. Of any country in America. Nailed it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty big. We're, pretty good. Now, we don't have the lowest. That's a pretty we're strong among, statement. We're among the lowest in America. So yeah, um, yeah, that's true. Okay, he, you're, wait, did he say <laughs> among so. the lowest? Yeah, Let's, watch, yeah, watch it see. again. Let's see. I think it's among. Wages are rising faster than prices, and now we have among the lowest inflation yeah. rates of any country in America, and still we're still fighting the lowest. <laughs> so inflation. we may not even be the lowest. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not no, the we're lowest among. inflation we're rate uh, in the in America. America. In America, but we're we're among the lowest inflation rates of all the countries in America. In, in America. Whoever types up, whatever little <laughs> Marxist that's in charge of typing up his uh, his teleprompter stuff, they gotta sit there after something like this and go, I don't. What can I do different? Yeah, what, y'all? I can't. don't even there's know what else to can. do. Nothing. I mean, you're at a point now where you there's mm-hmm. nothing you could do. Yep. Right. Yep. You're at a point now where the guy should be stepping down, mm-hmm. and so. You just have to continue your job, which doesn't make any sense anymore. And good luck with that. All right? Yeah. I don't know if we have the clip of the helper that told them they could answer questions yesterday. Uh, a couple days ago. Did it happen again yesterday? Uh, it might have been a couple days ago. Where he's ago, standing where there in the room and, and, says, and they uh, cut the feed. I don't know. He, they said, he said, uh, can I ask? He asked his yeah. helper, yeah. hey, can, can I, I ask a couple questions? To, and they just cut him off. But the helper said yes. Oh, really? The helper said, "Yeah, go ahead," and he started to answer a couple oh. questions. And then the other helper shuffled everybody out. Oh, like, didn't no, see no, that. no, no, no. Oh, he's got it. Joe's got this. I don't know. Oh, what okay. This is. Huh? Anyway, anyway, am I allowed to take any questions? Yeah, we played this. <laughs> yeah, we played. This. Okay, well, well, they usher the press out, and, and then they any, cut the feed. Anybody here is staff? So you're re- so, referencing something after yeah. this? Well, his helper says that he can Th- take questions, watch. and he's going to take them. It's about to happen. And <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I mean. Yeah, because yeah, the, the help the helper right. said, "Yeah, go ahead, take a couple," and then they were like, "Ooh, no, 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 no. Is this your first day? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's not what we do with Joe. Yeah, no, dude, they never answer yes to that. No, incredible. Oh, it's incredible. We are. Just, what a situation we're in. We, uh, uh, it's inc- unbelievable. If you didn't see it with your own eyes and live it, mm-hmm. you wouldn't believe it. I, I Seriously, know. after all we've been through. I still wouldn't believe it unless I was seeing it and experiencing it <laughs> right now, That's every the thing. single day. Like uh, sometimes I think, how would you explain? Like if the founding fathers came back, you couldn't. You couldn't. You'd you just could be like, not. you know what? Let's just go just, for a ride. You know what? Just watch for twenty four hours, and then you tell me uh, how your country turned out. Oh, <laughs> oh man, be crazy. You know, they're uh, spinning like lathes in their graves. No kidding. So a Biden spokesperson was asked about the possibility of debates now between. Mm. Joe Biden and Donald Trump, the two nominees. You know, they're going to battle this out for president of the United States. So, hey, what about a debate? The uh, former president has said that he wants to debate the president anytime, anywhere, under any conditions, with any moderator. Will the president (laughs) take him up on that? I think it's really funny that Donald Trump keeps saying things from Truth Social when he just stays in the basement of Mar-a-Lago. I don't think he's done any campaigning this week while the president's been out there. But look, Major, the president is traveling the country, talking to the Jeez, voters who will decide this election. We haven't had the conversation about something that may happen in August. Oh, but what I can say is the debate plays out every time Joe Biden talks about what he is fighting for oh. or what Donald Trump is fighting for, which is bad, it's rejected, that's your it's debate. toxic, and it's not the American that, way. That, that's your debate. He didn't even play that. Trump wow. didn't debate other Republicans. Card. No, no, he didn't. I just wow. So he's Trump in his basement in, in his Mar-a-Lago, basement. which is exactly what Biden did during the campaign in 2020. Mm-hmm. He literally stayed in his basement just, almost the entire time. And we're just disregarding all these rallies that I seem to be seeing uh-huh. with uh, Donald Trump traveling the country, and yeah. meeting people and speaking. So we've got right. seven okay. and a half months of this. And, and oh, yeah. the insanities no that I mean, are going to come down the pike uh, in this 
campaign. I mean, listen to this. You had this uh, uh, representative uh, from Texas, Democrat uh, Vicente Gonzalez, yesterday. He was talking about, this is in Newsweek, so it's just a written quote where um, he's just talking about he can't believe that uh, Latinos would support Donald Trump. Uh, He says, and you know, when you see Latinos for Trump, to me it's like seeing Jews for Hitler almost, you know? Oh my (laughs) gosh! What? What it's universe? Almost, uh, it's almost, almost oh, like yeah. that. Uh, almost okay, like in fairness. That. Oh my gosh. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's also reminiscent. Do you have a problem figuring out whether you're this. for me or Trump uh-huh. and you ain't black? Oh gosh. Uh, the most racist, the most hideous people. It. <laughs> oh man. Yep. All right, we'll get back to him in just a second. <laughs> But uh, first, it's time to start taking care of your liver right now, uh, more than ever. We, you know, here's the latest data from the American Heart Association. Adults with fatty liver are three and a half times more likely to have heart failure than those without. So the American Liver Foundation says there's about 100 million Americans with fatty liver, so that means you're at risk. Uh, And it's because we throw all kinds of stuff that is not good for our livers at our liver Cholesterol and alcohol, toxins, Tylenol, statins, cigarettes. That's why so many of us develop sluggish, fatty liver that makes us gain weight, lose energy. For decades now, your liver is taking care of you. Take care of it. There is a solution. It's called Liver Health Formula. It's an all-natural supplement. It contains 11 clinically proven botanicals that help recharge and protect your liver. So you can try it right now and get a free bottle of nano-powered omega-3 to help keep your heart healthy. Try Liver Health Formula. Just go to getliverhelp.com slash pat. Getliverhelp.com slash pat. And you'll get a free bonus gift uh, as well. Getliverhelp.com slash pat. Beware. Pat Gray is unleashed. Hmm. So Donald Trump was out at about, I guess it, maybe he was just in his basement, basement and yeah. uh, did an incredible <laughs> job of looking like he wasn't in his basement. <laughs> but he explained the difference between he and Joe in less than a minute. Watch this. They see how bad, how pathetic Biden's been. He's the worst president in the history of our country. Yes. He's corrupt. He's incompetent. Yes. Uh, he's weaponized the justice system to go after his political opponent, <laughs> which has never been done before. And he's the worst president we've ever had. He's not respected at all in foreign. Look, you wouldn't have Russia attacking Ukraine. You wouldn't have Israel being attacked. Iran was broke when I was president. They were broke because of me. Let's say they were broke. And they didn't have the money to give to Hamas or Hezbollah. Uh, All of these things, you wouldn't have inflation because it was caused by energy. All of these things were things that were very preventable, uh, not preventable by him. And the problem we have, we have seven months to go, a little more than seven months to go. That's an eternity when you have incompetent people running the government. Indeed. Hmm? Yep. Mm-hmm. Set a mouthful. He's there. right. Yeah. He's exactly right. One of the big things he was talking about there was Iran. And yesterday the RNC put out uh, just a few bullet points here mm-hmm. about what has happened with Iran since Joe Biden uh, entered office. Lest we forget, mm-hmm. um, Biden uh, relaxed economic sanctions, yeah. enabling Iran to generate $80 billion of oil revenue. Is $80 billion helpful? Is that a lot? Uh, to Iran it is. Mm. Uh, Biden allowed Iran to uh, access $10-plus plus billion in frozen Iraqi-held funds. Mm. Um, they said it was for electricity. Uh, Biden allowed Iran's oil, um, let's see, illicit oil experts to reach a five-year high as they loosened sanctions in pursuit of a failed nuclear deal. Huh. And Iran-backed proxies have attacked U.S. forces in the Middle uh, East hundreds of times over. in recent months, killing three U.S. service members and injuring many more. Yep. Thank you, Joe Biden. Yep. That's how tough he is on Iran. Right. Man, he's put yeah. the hammer down on him. It's yeah. incredible what it, he's done. Did you hear that judge, though, in Florida on those classified documents case uh, made it a point to say no president or vice president has ever been charged under the Espionage Act. So it sounds like things yeah, may be going Trump's way in Florida. So oh, I hope so. Yeah, they took. And he's Good. he's down to. Uh, I think he's down to s- I don't sixty remember something. The yeah, indictment uh, still yeah, lingering. Yeah, they're still. Okay. He's down. Uh-huh. The number is down. Now. Yeah, because it was ninety four. Was and a high I water mark. Just I saw a headline cross the wire saying that uh, the Manhattan DA is that what's her face. Uh, Letitia James. She's the, the report yeah. It's not was, Fanny. 
Right. She's in, Fanny's yeah. in Georgia. In Georgia. Right. Mm-hmm. Letitia's in yeah, yeah. Letitia's Manhattan DA. The headline was that they were going to uh, postpone uh, the uh, the money case, the hush mm. money case. <clears throat> so things are falling Stormy apart. Daniels. For oh, some of the those. Stormy Daniels yeah. situation. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. I also saw a clip. Somebody's trying to bring up the uh, what is her name? McDougal. K- Karen McDougal. Yeah, Karen McDougal thing again. Uh, I don't know why. Is there even a controversy? Did he? I mean, whether he slept with her or not. Uh, what are Didn't we going down that too? road for? Didn't he pay Karen? He may have. Is that probably. what the allegation And so is? that's probably. hush money as well, I guess. I don't know. I think I don't know. I'm on the, the whole thing. I can't keep it straight. There's yeah. so many. There are so many ways in which they're going after Donald Trump I know. right now. I mean, it's, they, they hate him oh, so my gosh. much. And, and every one of those 94 whatever original indictments yeah. there were, if they're all true, Donald Trump is still light years better than <laughs> Joe Biden. No question. <laughs> yeah. He could be in San Quentin doing a better job as president yeah, than Joe Biden. <laughs> By Absolutely. far. I mean, they want him in Supermax. They do, yeah. If, if They want I mean, him dead is yeah, what they want. I, I was just going to say, yeah. that's if they didn't, you know, if we can't kill him, yep. put him in Supermax. Also, Kamala Harris is accusing Donald Trump of doing exactly what the left is currently doing under the Biden administration. Mm-hmm. And that is not all. If he is reelected, the former president has openly said, he intends to weaponize the Department of Justice against his enemies. Oh, like you guys oh, do. Oh, my gosh. They Goodness. always uh, accuse the right. It never of fails, what they does do. it? That it is never unbelievable. fails. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so great. Mm-hmm. All right. Whatever <laughs> happened to the, you know, the old Texas border standoff that we were so concerned about? Uh, how'd that go? Well, you can join Jason Buttrell and the Blaze Originals team on the road trip to take our border back. They got a they had a convoy to the front line of the border crisis, and they uncovered what's really happening uh, during Governor Greg Abbott's fight against federal agents. Our team reveals the story the mainstream media didn't want you to know. Jason and the Blaze Originals team found an alarming way uh, around the Texas National Guard border blockade. To show you at home what's really going on. Media coverage of Eagle Pass painted uh, an incredibly alarming picture of what's going on at the border. But the truth is even worse than that. Blaze Originals reveals that the elites on the left, the right, and the media all have something to gain from the border crisis. And why those interests make it appear impossible to actually solve the problem. Uh, So check it out. It's the Blaze original team, Jason Buttrell. 85% of people reaching the border are coming into America. Uh, and that's a probably a low figure that 85% of the people that they they encounter actually wind up staying here uh, illegally. Of course, you don't want to use that word. No. Right? You just no, don't you want do to not. use that word. No, mm-hmm. you do not. But you can go to therealbordercrisis.com. Use the promo code border. And you'll get thirty dollars off your Blaze TV Plus subscription. Real Border Crisis, the Real Border Crisis dot com promo code Border. Pat Gray Unleashed. Oh wow, we got some. Uh, I got some breaking news. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, boy. I can't wait. I like breaking news. Uh, This is incredible. I think you're going to be stunned. Okay. Exit polls from Russia right now. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Stunning. This is not the breaking news I thought you were going to do. They believe now they can't say for certain, but they believe Vladimir Putin will be the victor. I mean, how can they... Yeah. It's a three day election. It's way too it's early. A it's a three day, day election. election. Oh, it's yeah. exit polls. And yet, you can trust exit polls. And yet, with uh, 0.00002% of the vote <laughs> in, uh, Pravda declares Vladimir Putin wow. the winner. Okay. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Okay, I know. I did not. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? That's not the breaking news I thought you were going to do, though. Really? I thought you were going to do. I thought you were going to do the breaking news of Baywatch reboot coming. Oh God! (laughs) (laughs) 
There's a reboot of Baywatch. Oh no! Oh my! Oh god! Seriously? What's it? That's what they were just reporting on. You can't do that anymore, can you? You can't just have what, run slow motion on the beach. Yeah, you, right. You can't have, have my sights. Have, <laughs> have excellent storylines about saving people's lives. Thank excellent you. Story, yes. Thank you. About the incredible life-saving yeah. work. Right. right. The struggles of, that people have the while they're trying to have be on vacation. Thank and you. Yeah. You're right. You can Thank only you. do it if you're you right. cast Dylan Mulvaney. Ugh. Oh, that's, oh yeah. that, that's, that's that's actually right. true. That's probably true. Yeah, it is. Ugh. Watch, oh my that, be the Watch case. Oh, that be the no. case. Watch that be the case. That is them <laughs> beach. I will, ick. I will get rid oh, of my man. TVs. Oh man. And by the way, after we played that video of Dylan Mulvaney's new pop hit, yeah, mm-hmm. um, he has disabled all the comments on YouTube mm-hmm. and has huh. major flopped. The video only has one hundred and forty thousand views. One hundred forty thousand. That's it. That's pretty strange because yeah. I mean, huh. I, the, how many shows? It, Promoted that yeah, on top many. of this one. I mean, many. obviously, a hundred of thousand of those views came from came this from show. us. Yes, but the other shows I saw other shows talking about it as well. It's yeah. strange that it didn't do that well. Mm. Hmm. Well, because Isn't he it? was uh, cosplaying and mocking, and and people didn't necessarily want to see him uh, in that light. Wow. <laughs> um, you could have full stopped after him. Yeah, well, true. <laughs> That's true. What Jeffy? I Jeffy's going to defend Dylan Mulvaney. I didn't say a word. Uh, this is unfortunate, too. You know Olivia Rodrigo, big star right now. Um, she is distributing birth control pills and condoms at her concert. Nice of her. So that's great. <laughs> thoughtful. Yeah. Isn't it thoughtful? thoughtful. Yeah. Well, if you know, when you're 12, you want to make sure they're having safe sex, right? And that's probably yeah. what they're... Well, eh. What, you think she's carding these kids and saying, okay, you're too young, I'm not going to give First you a condom? First of all, condom? she's Come not on. up front Come at on. the table passing it out. She has her people out there doing it. And yes, okay. I do believe they're carding them. Do you? Yes. Do you? Yes. Okay. All right. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure they're very careful and responsible about it. I'm this. sure. And I'm sure that when, that, when asked if you don't that's say really, that you're that's 18, disappointing. you're not getting it. I'm sure sorry. Is, that's man. disappointing. But as part of Olivia Rodrigo's Fund for Good, yeah. the Missouri Abortion Fund mm-hmm. handed out morning after pills and condoms at Olivia's con. Now that should be illegal. <laughs> to this is a th- there are some risks with that abortion pill that can go really badly for people who take it. Yeah, I it. thought, but they and you're just giving them out at concerts. Well, they just made it so you didn't you could get it without a prescription, right? Mm. Uh, over the counter at some uh, mm. at, at some of the pharmacies. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. that's probably why. Jeez. So you, I that's don't disagree good. with what you're saying. Yeah. I'm just saying I think that it's I'm now sure Missouri you can get it without, a, that without a prescription. Restricts women's yeah. super irresponsible access. though. Yeah. And dangerous, irresponsible, dangerous, evil. Other than that, <laughs> yeah, that really my, good idea. What's your problem? Really with good it? idea. I don't have one. I don't have. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give me some things to care about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about immigration? Do you care about immigration? A little. Uh, yesterday, HHS Secretary uh, Xavier Becerra was answering some questions in the Senate. And, uh, you know, when that happens, it's mm. going to be good. Oh, well, yeah. hang on. Always comes with facts. Knows yeah, oh, what they're right. talking about. Everything is available. Right. I hate these people. Come prepared. And here it is. And there have been about 400,000 Oh, of these unaccompanied boy. children that have come to the United States during President Biden's term of office. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us where they are now? Where are the kids? We can give you information on the vetting process and uh, No, I ask you, do you know where they are now? <laughs> As I said to you, mm. we can tell you who the vetted sponsors were that mm. received That's these That's not kids. what I ask you. <laughs> well, yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is actually. No, no, it isn't. Where are they? Where are the kids? Do you know where they are? He's saying he can give them, give you where the vetted p- people are. No, he so, didn't say yes. that. He said they yes. have vet people vetting it. He didn't say what the numbers are after they vet. Why do you hate this administration? That's what this, <laughs> I absolutely uh, that's what, do. That's you're I'm right about that. You. And you're hearing it correctly. Nothing wrong with your ears in that regard. Did you hear there, there were yeah. reports going around <laughs> yesterday that the U.S. Coast Guard was ordered to follow uh, illegal Haitian migrants to the coast and allow them to enter through southern Florida. That's fun. No, because DeSantis was posting oh, National Guard there to stop that, I thought. Yeah, how did that I work thought. out? I, honestly, I don't know how that worked out. I was just reading the 
And then we've got an illegal migrant charged with assaulting girls in a Maryland church who had been deported twice. We've got three illegal immigrants from Guatemala accused of uh, Florida kidnapping, sexual assault on a woman abducted in a park. But anyway, it's good. Everything's great. American citizens commit crimes too, yeah. Keith. Yeah. 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 American citizens do bad things as well. We'd like to just focus on that if we could. <laughs> and we don't really need uh, right more more in here. More felons, more criminals. That's great. More drugs. Yeah. And then I more saw terrorists. I saw a thing that said New York City spending three hundred eighty-seven dollars per illegal alien per day, multiplied mm-hmm. by sixty-five thousand illegals. Wow. Jeez. Holy cow. Incredible. Cool. We're that good. Is. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Fine. So how much is that a day? Don't make me do the math. Mm. I'll do the math. It's a lot. 65,000 illegal. So we put the 18 stuff. minute together along with the 7 Three. minute together. You yeah. got 22 minutes. You sell it with 8 minutes ahead. Holy you got 30 minutes. crap. There That's how much it is. 65,000 illegals in New York times $387 a day is over $25 million a day. The numbers don't lie. What? How is that wow. a, day? a day? What in the world? A day. You can't sustain that. No. You <laughs> well, you invited them, Eric Adams. Your city invited them. All those cities Here did. Here you go. Right? I mean, right, we've got Baltimore that's just, uh, they're saying that they're going to sell houses now. The, they have 13,500 homes in Baltimore that are vacant. Mm-hmm. Right? The city owns 900 of them. Why? I don't know why the city owns 900 of them, but they do. So their new proposal mm. is going to allow those sales. They can, you can buy a house in Baltimore now for a dollar. You can buy one of those houses. They for were a doing dollar. that in Detroit, Detroit. too. They Remember? want the property tax. Baltimore is saying that nonprofits can get them for a thousand, and developers can get them for three thousand. Now, obviously, the catch is you have to spend ninety thousand on renovations, oh. and you have to move, mm. and you have to have mm. uh, be sure that somebody moves into the properties within a year to live in them for five years. Mm. Well. Uh, their councilman just described four different neighborhoods in Baltimore as looking like a war zone. So I'm sure their neighborhood will be fine. It makes you want to fix those houses right Doesn't up. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make for another great episode of Fixer Upper. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. That's great. That's a great idea. More coming up in just a minute. Screw your freedom. This is Pat Gray. Unleashed. What is the uh, fastest growing metropolitan area in the United States of America? If you guessed Pocatello, Idaho, you're slightly off. It's, it isn't. Uh, and neither really? is it Bemidji, Minnesota. Really? Yeah. Still beautiful. Still, sure. Uh, still beautiful. Yes. My gosh. And fast growing, just not the fastest growing. Fastest growing population in the country, Dallas-Fort Worth. Yeah. The DFW yeah. Metroplex 8.1 million people now. Okay, welcome to Texas. Please leave. <laughs> Surpassed 8 million residents between 22 and 23, adding 152,598 residents for that total population of 8,100,037 people. Hold awesome. on a second. The second, second fastest DFW. growing is Houston? Yeah, Houston. So does that count uh, Colony Ridge? <laughs> Just Probably. outside of Houston? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Hmm. Houston's up to 7.5 million. Mm. Then you got Atlanta, Sandy Springs, mm. Roswell, mm. Georgia, uh, at 6.3 million. Orlando, uh, Kissimmee, 2.8. Wow. Wow. Tampa, St. Petersburg, 3.3 nice. million. Tampa Bay. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Um, let's see. So two, the top two are both Texas. Then you've got Austin and... Uh, and San Antonio, four of the top ten. So Texas. okay, so three of the top ten are Florida. Four of the top ten are Texas, as you say. Mm-hmm. And the other one Georgia, is what? Arizona, North Carolina, South Carolina, yeah, Charlotte. Georgia. So Charlotte, interesting. Atlanta, okay. Mm. Wow. I mean, all in the wow, all in the South. I mean, yep. Count Phoenix, Southwest, but mm. um, mm-hmm. red yeah. states. Yes. Right. Correct. Uh, Georgia's a red state. Mm-hmm. Period. I mean, it's purple. <laughs> it just I got your busted water pipe right here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. What else was on? Arizona. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there you mm-hmm. go. Yeah. So technically, all red states. Yep. Technically. Yep. 
Yeah, so uh, you don't have people pouring into California no, right no, now? No, New hmm. York. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Wonder you got them moving into, They're pouring into New York. They're just elite. Yeah, right. They just haven't quite gotten registered right. to vote, but they got seven and a half months to pull that off. That's exactly right. I mean, every hotel in that town seems now to be just a migrant hotel. What a fun place to be. Also in Washington yesterday, Bernie Sanders uh, asked about his proposal for a 32-hour work week. Hmm. So we're going from 40 to 32 now? Is that what he wants to do? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Here's what he had to say. Can I talk to you about the 32-hour work week? Yeah. It seems like Fox yeah. Business. Yeah. It seems like Democrats yeah. want yeah. businesses to be taxed more, pay their really? workers. Really? Is that what you Whoa. think? Easy. <laughs> pay their, oh, pay their workers. Down, Excuse me. I didn't Excuse get to ask me. the question. Wow. Okay, thank you. Uh, Senator, well, I you want to hold it. Okay. Okay. Oh, we held a hearing on a 32-hour work week. Because what we have seen Mm -hmm. is that over the last 50 years, despite a huge increase in worker productivity, Mm -hmm. almost all of the wealth has gone to the top 1% or 60% of the people living paycheck to paycheck. Ah! Many of our people are exhausted. We work the longest hours of any people in the industrialized world. I think it's time for a shortened work week. Can I ask you a question about that? It seems like Democrats want businesses to be taxed more, really? pay, no, pay, their, pay their workers no, more, so. lower prices, no, think, and now pay Democrats, people not to work. You know what I would like to see? Mm. How are businesses going to survive that? That's the well, question. I, How can businesses well, survive I all of those it, proposals? When Mr. Bezos pays an effective tax wow. rate lower than the average worker, I think wow. we have a real problem in our tax system. I think that billionaires have got to stop paying their fair share. <laughs> the same old Marxist garbage. Simmer down, socialist burning. As soon as he heard Fox Business, right. yeah, oh, then. got him all wound up. Yeah. So, then, um, uh, yeah, yep. the the bill <sighs> over a four year period would lower the threshold required for overtime pay from forty to thirty two hours. So anything over thirty two hmm. now is subject to uh, okay. overtime pay, which would have to be one and a half times a worker's regular salary. For work days longer than eight hours, it would require overtime pay at double a worker's regular salary. Once you get for past work days thirty-two, longer than twelve hours. So there's a well, lot there. Then he brings up oh, Jeff Bezos. What do you suppose his yearly income is? Do you think that he makes a salary like the rest of us do? He doesn't. He's not on salary. He's getting capital gains money. That, that's what happens with billionaires. You know, their, their salaries ended a long time ago, usually, a lot of times. Uh, and now what they're living on are the capital gains. And the reason capital gains aren't taxed at the same rate as income tax is because they've already paid the tax once. Capital gains is an added. It's a double tax. I mean, we're being taxed on it's on what top we've already of been what you've already on, paid but... your whole life. <laughs> Madness, man. <sighs> man. So the Marxist mm-hmm. theory that the billionaires are fa- paying their fair share yeah, who's is such your share? garbage. <laughs> it's such a lie. Uh, just really get sick of it. And then at the end of your life, then we're gonna they're gonna take half of yeah. what you earned your entire life and pay taxes on both income tax and capital gains, and then we're going to charge you a death tax because you died. We're entitled to fifty percent of what you owned. It feels like you hate wow. your country. He, it oh, that's like, amazing. Does it? Are I mean, you a patriot or not, like? sir? I am. Okay, yes. I'm not I, hearing that. I sure am. I mean, we're being taxed and taxed. Oh, my gosh. Taxed. It is outrageous. We're being taxed on what we've already been taxed on. Yep. It's just... It's never. agonizing. And the good news is I see where my gas prices are going up even more, so... <laughs> I mean, we're getting taxed on that already, I know, but mm-hmm. the prices itself are going up, which a is lot. wonderful. They've gone up a lot they have. lately. Didn't you say they went up 40 cents? One of you guys said 40 cents in the last week or whatever. It was a big jump. Uh It was a big jump. I drove the one gas station I drive by where I actually pay attention to the prices. I mean, all of a sudden, it's like Mm $2.99. And I'm like, wait, Mm. we were just at $2.60, $2.70. Right, and now Mm. it's that, I don't know which one you're talking about, but I think we passed the same one. It's three nineteen now. Oh, man. Uh, There you go. Hold on, hold on. It may be three twenty nine. dollars it's one of the two. Wow. It's just a and nightmare. And that's just for regular. Yeah. You know, that's right. I know that's, you know, it's we're, we're the unwashed guess. masses. And, right. Yeah. You know, and you've yes. got your hoity-toity car. I got it. But <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. No, yeah. it's a fun time. I love this uh, this version of America that we're living in. Oh, we all do. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's we all pretty do. Pretty awesome. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. It's, it's working out really well. Yeah. No, that's right. That's Democrat rule is uh, always superb, you know. <laughs> 
I love how when they complain I don't, I don't, about yeah. about the things, the bad things that have happened in America, and then if you ever challenge them on it, it's always the progressives who are in charge when the bad things happen. Always. Every single time. Always. <laughs> Every time. They're in charge of the racism policies. They're in charge of the disasters. They're in charge of the wars. They're in charge every single time. Anything you want to complain about, well, congratulations. Go see them. Yeah, go talk to the Democrats about it because they did it. Jeez. Uh, Don Lemon doing a little whining right now. Uh, he <laughs> whined yesterday about Elon Musk. Uh, Unbelievable. And then... And then he went on CNN. He ran I'm back to the it. place that fired him. Goes back to CNN, <laughs> crying to CNN. And they let him on. Yeah, yeah. and they and did. And they let him on. Just because mm-hmm. I, I think the only reason that they would let him on is just their hatred for Elon. Sure. Right? Oh, yeah, for I sure. mean, that, because they got no mm-hmm. love for Don Lemon. But yeah. just, you know, Elon was like, uh, you know what? We're not going to pay you to do a show. <laughs> right. Uh, Except they are. You, they're paying him not to do the show, actually. They don't like him so much. They're paying him $25 million <laughs> over three years not to do the oh, show. Well, Elon will find a way around that. Let's hope. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here, uh, Here's what he had to say. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to I don't Democrats, have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates Thank to you. Jewish people. Do you think that... Uh, I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you don't think you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for trouble. these things? I'm criticized that constantly. Was... I could care less. Couldn't care. Oh, right. Right. Don't get hung in so up. many ways. Right. I have two. I have two things I want to ask you about that, Couldn't. Don. First, the Great Replacement Theory. Right. As you bring it up, yeah, um, Aaron. You know, he has it. tweeted um, mm. a tweet he shared: increasing illegals <laughs> boost Dem voting power, causing them to recruit more. Mm-hmm. If Dems win President, House, and Senate, they'll grant citizenship to all legals, and America will become a permanent one-party deep socialist state. Mm-hmm. Right? He has gone there directly. Uh, how much does he stand by the these ideas? Well, he didn't quite seem to understand that he did. Uh, originally, he did that with Jewish people, sort of a great replacement theory thing that he did with Jewish people, and he got in trouble oh and he had to gosh. go to Auschwitz and, and answer questions and, and apologize and go with Ben Shapiro. But um, he doesn't understand that that sort of rhetoric that he talks about, the Great Replacement Theory and, um, and a migrant invasion, mm. that's what radicalized shooters use in their manifestos. Oh, so exactly stop it! it. Oh, the people my who go gosh. and shoot up people, whether they oh. be Latino people this who is live in Texas or black people yeah. who are in a supermarket mm-hmm. yeah. uh, in Buffalo, he said or you still be Jewish X, people who are, just not, who are worshiping, not doing a separate those show. people use the same rhetoric, mm-hmm. that they are tropes that they're either racist okay. for Latinos or black people or for Jewish this people. That's why you're not on and CNN anymore, And I wanted anymore, to know if he, had, if he felt any responsibility uh, uh, as someone who has the, one of the largest mm. social media and information platforms in the world. A quarter billion people. A quarter billion people. I think it's 455 or 500 million users a week. Okay, so what? And it doesn't seem that he feels that he has mm. any responsibility with that because he seemed really averse to facts. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's uh, free speech. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my so, so they want control. They want somebody to, uh, to control your speech Yeah, is effectively what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Just well, go it's hard to sit through. Go be with your boyfriend on the beach, Don, and yeah. leave us be. Be nice. Yeah, it'd be nice. Wait, do what on the beach? What would you say? Go be with his boyfriend oh, on the beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that mm-hmm. bar he was at, right? <laughs> Oh, no, that's right. Those no, charges that were not... dropped. <laughs> My bad. Those charges were dropped. Was that Don, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was Don. Okay. Where, he, where he was accused of mm-hmm. grabbing someone. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, you're at a bar. Get mm-hmm. over it. <laughs> if you don't want to get grabbed, I'm on Don's side here. Don't, get, don't go to the oh, bar. Is you. that your theory there? Thank you. Okay. Hold on. So, All right. so just a public service announcement. <laughs> the more you know, Jeff Fisher, if you don't want to be grabbed, don't go to a bar. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Noted. All right. <laughs> Just part of the splendor that is Jeff Fisher. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, did you know that the majority of your grocery store's meat aisle was imported from some random country or countries oh. from overseas? No, thank you. Yeah, that's right. Some kind of mystery meat. Oof. I don't know. You don't know if you're eating badger from Norway or. <laughs> 
kangaroo from Australia. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? You never know. Uh, and the product of the USA sticker on it, that just means it was packaged in America, not raised here. Ooh. Isn't right. that amazing? Not made in America. Until yeah. recently. I didn't even know that. But Backyard Butchers is a Christian conservative Texas-based company dedicated to delivering the best deals in the market on high-quality beef. Uh, your box will include all born and raised American beef from ranches right here in the heartland of America. Backyardbutchers.com is delivering American raised and harvested meat from right here in our American backyards to dinner tables across the nation. Awesome. Backyard Butchers will only source beef and chicken from American farms and deliver the cuts right to your doorstep every single month. Grass fed and grain finished. This meat tastes amazing. Absolutely delicious. Over half a million happy customers across the U.S. Hundreds of five-star reviews on Google and an American-based customer service team of stay home, stay-at-home moms. Uh, they make sure your orders are delivered right on time every nice. single month. Backyard Butchers, they're on a mission to bring American-raised, harvested, and affordable meat back to the dinner table. So go to backyardbutchers.com slash unleashed backyardbutchers.com slash unleashed you'll get 20 percent off your order and when you subscribe and get you'll get an additional 10 percent off and free shipping backyardbutchers.com slash unleashed this is pat gray unleashed uh, the other day, we were talking about the uh, HBO documentary that's coming out on Alex Jones. Kind of got us into a discussion on his uh, Sandy Hook being a hoax thing. Right. Um, and we decided, you know what? Let's uh, let's invite him on. Let's talk to him. Yeah, about heck some of this yeah. Stuff. If he can talk about Sandy Hook, great. But we'll definitely talk to him about other things, uh, including the Gulf of Tonkin, which well, he, he loves to speak Hello. Of. That's yeah. all, well, I mean, it all started there. Duh. Obviously, you're, you're to start <laughs> the beginning. Although, as Keith pointed out yesterday, it's not exactly the beginning. What? Yeah. No, the USS are you, Maine. Are you a Gulf of Tonkin denier now? <laughs> no, we're going back to... <laughs> no, you're just saying Spanish it didn't start American. there. Oh, yeah. okay. Talking okay. Spanish-American okay. War. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, I mean, the Gulf of Tonkin, I mean, actually, it actually started before that. It started before John F. Kennedy's body was cold. Oh, wow. And um, mm-hmm. Lyndon Johnson mm-hmm. was escalating in Vietnam. They yes. Within, I don't know for 72 hours uh, after Kennedy's death. Mm-hmm. It's almost... Hmm. I can't wait for our Kennedy uh, thing coming up here. Uh, okay. On, uh, what is it, Friday, March 29th? Is yeah. that right, Chris? Okay, yeah. that'll be a good... But by the way, I just want to give you an update. Uh, the invitation was sent, and it's in oh, okay. Alex oh, Johnson's... You know? So it's in their court okay. It's in the court now. All right. We okay. told them... We'll see. You and told them what we want to talk about. We're just going to talk about everything, basically? Yeah. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. We cool. want to start from the beginning. Convince us of, of yep. conspiracies. And that's, right. that's how I phrased it. Convince us mm-hmm. from yeah, the exactly. beginning. Okay, but and I told him that it's going to be serious. We're not like yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, this is not a joke. It's and not combative. Seem, yes, not combative, mm-hmm. and they seem really receptive. Did they? Mm-hmm. No, all right. So we'll okay. see what Alex says. Did you bring up the CIA substation? Um, that we're a part see, of? see, that's where <laughs> not, not combative. <laughs> that, that, not, not combative. That's not combative. <laughs> that's not, I, he said it. We gotta ask him. We about should. That. We should ask him if if he's still of that mindset. Oh well, absolutely. We're gonna ask that here. question, but am I gonna bring it up like, in the invite? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can good. ask him in the invite if he feels comfortable coming to the CIA well, substation. He's been here three times already. Yeah. So, he still on different not shows. On different right. shows, yes. Yeah. He's been here three times. We, we should yeah, actually. I met him that first time he was here. I, I still, I mean, we've talked about it off the air, but I was I was sitting here talking to Jackie Daly, as a matter mm-hmm. of fact, sitting in this chair. Yeah. And I see this Figure. body walk by our glass yeah. here, and I'm like, yeah. that looked like Alex Jones. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I got up, and I was like, that can't be Alex Jones. And it was. See, the way that our amazing. government I couldn't believe he was actually here. spends mm-hmm. money. I think if he takes a tour around here and especially heads down to the snack bar section, he'll realize immediately we are not a government entity here, <laughs> just based on quality of snacks alone. Although we have Snickers now, that's yeah, how. The snack bar is just yeah. loaded. Mm-hmm. By the it's way, loaded. What a complainer! But by the third time Alex came here, I thought we were going to give him a show because I'm like, okay, this guy's just moved in. <laughs> this guy's part of the network. It felt now. like it at the time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, well, this led to a Sandy Hook discussion. There was a dad who spoke about yeah, it uh, after the shooting Adrian of his child. Slate sent this to us. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Uh, and this guy brings it up, um, who's, I don't know, he's got a website, or he talks about certain things. And yeah, Listen through the end, though. Um, here he is talking about the Sandy Hook dad. This was one of the things, I think, I think we just isolated. that bothered Alex Jones, Yeah, right? I think we just isolated <clears throat> just, just the CNN clip here. Okay. Robbie Parker, I assume he's going to come out to the microphones now and make a statement. Uh, looks like the family is there, and they're getting ready to make uh, to come to the microphones. Okay, so the guy's laughing. We'll listen in. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's weird. Crisis actors. Yeah, that's what it looks like. My name's Robbie Parker. Okay, so he goes from smiling. Mm-hmm. Up. To crying uh, pretty quickly. But, you know, we don't know exactly what was going through his Every, head. Everyone handles everybody, grief differently. Yes. Absolutely. Exactly right. That is not proof that mm. it was, these are crisis actors. No. But that... Is, it's still curious. It, it's curious. It's weird. It's, it's like, something that uh, people <clears throat> point to when, when they're yeah, going through... It's the one of the things. That. Um, you know, it's like, what, <clears throat> remember Bill Clinton walking with, oh gosh, I don't know, somebody after the, the Ron Brown Ron funeral Brown. Yep. and they're laughing and back slapping. And then they notice, uh Oh, there's the media. And then he goes immediately into somber mode mm-hmm. and starts to act like he's crying. Uh, that was weird too. And that played into yes, it did. Bill Clinton had Ron Brown killed for some reason, right? Oh so, no, the reason was well, because he was standing in the way of uh-huh. of uh, changing some of that uh, technology from Department of Defense to Department. Uh, oh gosh, um, <clears throat> what was Ron Brown the Secretary of? Oh, uh, he was the head commerce, of the DNC, wasn't commerce. He? commerce, and yeah. so that that basically. Um, took it away from being classified, and therefore you could sell it to China, and so let's make sure that uh, Mm. we get Ron Brown out of the way. There was also some, I don't know, dirt that he had on the Clintons that he was Mm. supposedly going to I think that's the mistake that that you make, is that you think that Bill had it done. Uh, That's Hillary's job. (laughs) Uh, Right. Hillary Mm. takes care of that. Right. Uh, Bill's Bill's got nothing to do with that. With the Hillary, <laughs> with the Clinton really? kill, with the Clinton kill list, he lets Hillary, Hillary take care That's, of all of I that. I don't want to know. Wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> so all fifty to a thousand people they've killed. That's all come from Hillary. Uh, don't go to Bill about that. Okay. Bill's like I don't know. I don't what know. You're talking about. Bill's just here for Ask a good Hillary. time. <laughs> and and fat chicks, right? Pat? And fat chicks. Yeah, okay. that's right. <laughs> That's right. I love fat chicks. Uh, I really do. I really do. Uh, Basil Marceau. I I don't know what Basil Marceau. Okay, so so is on our docket. So Pat doesn't want animal videos anymore. So you know, let's have a Friday fun (laughs) clip, right? So uh, I I was having a I was having a conversation, and uh, the word basil came up, and all of a sudden. (laughs) I don't know. I had a flashback to Basil Marceau, which was a staple of the Pat and Stu show years ago. Really? Let's check in with BasilMarceau.com yeah. and just revisit this video. I don't know okay. what he's doing now, but when you go to YouTube, you find this. All right. Well, all this week, Channel 4 is working for you to help you make a choice in the well, governor's primary does, race. As part of that commitment, you. we have given all five candidates from the two major parties time during our news to let you know where they stand in their own words about the topics of their choosing. That's right. And the order was chosen random. by random drawing tonight. We hear from Basil Marceau. All right. Oh. I'm BasilMarceau.com, the <laughs> Republican candidate for governor. Pause it for a second. I'd like okay. to read. What do you mean, pause You're, it? <laughs> wait. You are BasilMarceau.com? Dot com, yeah. 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 That, the, that was the name that the Basil parents Marceau. gave you? He's, he's yeah. nervous. <laughs> he's nervous, yeah. right? Hi, uh, BasilMarceau.com. And no, wait till you hear... I don't okay. think you are. And so, yeah, this platform is a winning <laughs> wait platform. Wait until you hear this yeah. platform. This is good right. stuff. Yeah. Here's the platform from <laughs> Basil Marceau. You're going to wish he was still in office. The Republican candidate for governor. <sighs> I'd like to he's recall good. all <laughs> permit... And registration for guns. Yes. Everyone oh, wow. can carry guns. If you kill someone, no, you get murdered. I mean, you go to jail. <laughs> Wait, what? And, what? Uh, <laughs> I like to put... <laughs> Pause it for a second. I don't know. Wait, okay. Bro, I don't know. If you kill someone, you get murdered and you go to jail. <laughs> so we're going to kill you and then we're going to put you behind bars. No, I think he's... Did I get that right? I don't that's know. A, that's I a heavy know. fine. All I know that's is I'm sentence. watching this and I'm no. thinking, Tennessee, man, you missed an opportunity here. <laughs> All right, what else? All right, here's more. (laughs) 
Wait, oh. No. I'm BasilMarcello.com, uh, the Republican candidate okay. for governor. Right. Yeah, we know. I'd like to recall <laughs> all permit and registration for guns. Okay. Yeah. Everyone can carry guns. If you kill someone, no, you get murdered. You go to jail. <laughs> and uh, I like to put uh, plant grass plant uh, or grass. vegetation across uh -huh. from the state with any vacant lot and sell it for gas and so we can use it, use it for our yes. expenses. Wait, what? Also, I'm going to remove all gold fringe flags from the state. No French and flags. And the real flag with three stripes. <laughs> I also want to stop traffic stops. Pause it. Yes. It is no there a real... traffic stops. Is there a huge French flag oh problem gosh. going on that, that I don't know about? French yes. These have okay. invaded Tennessee. And what was the last one? There's no Rewind traffic stops. Yeah, no traffic stops. Pat's on board now. Wow. He's volunteering for Basil How did they Marceau. not vote for this guy? Let's see. Let's hear the rest <laughs> of I also want to stop traffic stops. Yes. Okay. Set it up like the Supreme Court rule in Nose versus Iowa. Wait, you can't what? find evidence in a car. You can't look. This guy's priceless, I want you all man. to vote. Okay. For Basil Marceau, yeah. I want you to say the Pledge of Allegiance to a Republic <laughs> in the morning when you come out. Hell yeah. Thank you. And uh -huh. we all pray to God uh -huh. right. and say amen. Uh, and right. okay. everyone, or, or and everyone, have a nice day. Yeah. No, you, and I'll see you all at or, the polls. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, have no. A nice day. Thank you, Basil. Tennessee missed out. So it's they've already had that vote. That was 2010. And, yeah. Oh, I think 2010. we missed out that. Damn it. I think that's what that was. <laughs> Is Basil okay? Could he run again? Uh, he's having some issues. Oh, is he no. really? Yeah. Yeah, but are the French, have they taken over <laughs> Tennessee yet? I'm Basil. He's had some issues. <laughs> this is Pat Gray, Unleashed.